and I'll see if I'll get them out of the main column as well. Need to go as far as our shovel cap did. So then we've possibly picked up the line here where this there's a little platform. Quite a change in density. And that gets us down here somewhere. This does two things for you. It allows you to get in the back and actually cut with your saw, and it also allows you to get your head in. It's easier to see the shears usually on the front, on the side rather than on the front of the column. Cut down the back and leave the saw where you cut to. If it pops out right on the saw, then maybe simply your saw cut did that, eh? From the front. You don't have to take the top off completely flat. Just take a little bit of it off. Just enough to get the curve of the shovel nicely over it. Now it doesn't matter whether you're right handed or left handed, get yourself set up on this shovel so that you can look in the side. <coughs> if you have a headlight, put it on and light this side up so you can see. Because the, often they'll only displace one or two centimeters, uh, one or two millimeters forward, and that's it. And if you're really quick, if you see that happen and you drop the shovel and grab it, you can turn it over and see what it ran on. So I'm looking in here, right from the start. Now this test works by keeping your elbow on there while you tap with your hand on the fingertips or on the on slightly on the end of the fingers ten times. If that doesn't do it, keep your elbow there and tap from the elbow ten times. If that doesn't do it, then you're allowed to take your elbow off there and whack it, and most people will probably have to go to fist to be able to stand the pain. All right, so from 1 to 10, if it slides, it's called easy. CTE. CTE, easy, compression test, easy. If it's from 11 through to uh, 